my feedback is mostly on the improvisation and the aftermath. Um, <coughs> because the framing discussion was is was good to 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 listen to, but it was wide ranging and um, <coughs> not not focused so much. I think what came out of it is playing in the dark was a powerful thing. Although there is this question of how to do that in a public space. I think Dee said that, right? How, to, how do I dream this as a concert? But we it had iPhone lights like flashing okay. and yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. showers. Yeah, we had different other things. We'd have to, we'd have to that's something we need to figure out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, there's a famous uh, composition by Georg Friedrich Haas. Uh, this is the, I think, third or fourth string quartet, which has to be played in complete darkness. And one of the persistent problems is that the exit lights in the theaters are always on. And you never get complete darkness. Um, so, but that's, that's another question. <coughs> um, what I also liked was using this instrument um, as a, a sonic, <coughs> sonic furniture, so to speak, that, that is in the room, that is present. Um, and can be can be essentially Just played by everybody. Oh, okay. Sorry. <laughs> and um, that that made me think that maybe we could invite even the audience to play it mm. um, in some way. I don't know yet what that would be. Um, uh, about the improvisation itself, it was curious because um, the other improvisations I've never watched them on video yet. I haven't watched what we did in the first rehearsals on video. Um, and what I found is that it's much less engaging on video than it is in real life, obviously. Um, and um, that I, I found that compared to what I remember, I have to now check in the videos actually, but what I remember from the first improvisations that we had, um, it was already much more um, what you would expect from an improv group. From a random improv group, it was not as as distinctively different as the first two that I remember as being totally different kinds of improvisation, where there was a big focus um, on the glaciers, or there was this communion of souls after our bearing of souls in David's session. Um, I didn't feel that in the music as that. that Saw it yesterday, but um, uh, in, the, in this video. So um, I don't know whether the, the darkness had something to do with it, or the fact that you now know each other already a little more than you did at the beginning. Um, in any way, I thought that that as music, this is less, um, let's say, presentable than the first improvisation. I mean, the very first day in September. And um, so that was that was something that probably we need to look at again. What, what were reasons for this? It was much more stereotypical than it was before. Um, what were the reasons for that? And um, uh, what else was there? There were concerns raised yeah, about the relationship to the audience of all of this. Right? How do we transport this to the audience? And that's my feedback. I, I thought it was very interesting to watch. I, I actually, I, I thought, and thank you for the, for the team who made the documentation, because it was edited, of course. There were moments that were not present that I didn't see, especially when we all left the room or something like that. Um, but what I saw the, the, uh, was much more engaging to watch than I had thought because I always hate looking back at work, that, you know, at, at conversations with people. Um, um, because I think that's, you have to be there in the moment. But it was very engaging and very interesting to see how the ideas developed. Um, and um, I'm curious how we can, how we can somehow preserve or get back that initial freshness of the implementation. That would be, that would be my concern, um, how 
how to find that again. But also, I think there's the issue that when, because we were in the dark, because we were moving around, because um, there was this, um, I don't remember how it's called. Uncle. Yeah. <laughs> uh, the, 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 this, this being there. Um, I think probably the first improvisation we made were probably much relying much more on sound mm -hmm. and on what we heard and how we made the sound we produce. And in this one, there was much more um, you know, theatrical movement, yeah. relationship, uh, playing with the lights. Because if we're all, you know, we can do an improvisation without moving in the light, all sitting on a chair, and that the only thing that's happening is sound. And that's, of course, can, you know, that's what we do as musicians. So I guess we can get to a level of creativity in the sound that will be a little bit more, um, you know, reactive or inventive or something like that. But the more levels of interpretation or creativity you add, you know, everything gets diluted in a way. Mm -hmm. There was a lot of that being in the room, and then someone would come over, mm -hmm. and you'd feel their presence almost mm -hmm. threatening. Mm -hmm. So maybe the result was just a but <laughs> the feeling was intense. Was intense. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. I mean, you, I don't know if that's really capturable by sound. And, and the question, of course, is, is it capturable in an audience mom moment? Mm. So that's the that's that's question, be, because we're not producing uh, so much. I mean, that's not, that's not the intention of the project, to, to make something for us, uh, an experience for us. Mm. It's also to, is, to, to investigate a little bit how we can create music in a different way, right? mm. music, but the music for performance. Or at least for something like a ritual or something that has to do with other people that are um, I think the to me, your comments are I, th I think very almost predictable in terms of the experience that you had physically not here during the exactly. moment and seeing it on video yeah. and what we had done because I remember coming here with very little plan myself. Mm. I had the class. That was sort of my plan. And there wasn't much else. <laughs> but I was expecting, because of the stage we were in the process, to be very much in a, if this is a convergence moment, that was very much a divergence moment. So very, I was very interested in not focusing. And I think a lot of the questions and discussion we had at the beginning were like, well, try this. What about that? Who knows? We had improvised putting together the plan to this. Uh, okay. Sorry? Hong Kong? Hong Kong, right. Yeah. I just I keep writing it down different ways, but I want to make sure I write it down before. Right, um, right. right. <laughs> and that moment was very much, again, we had a very, it was very fluid in terms of the beginning and the end of the whole session. The session sort of began when we started putting it together, the Hong Kong. And the sort of, the performance sort of ended when Felix left the room and then, oh, came back. <laughs> and then, did we, had we stopped? Were we waiting for each other? And then, so there was this incredible mm. lack of definition to a lot of the stuff that we did, which I thought was fabulous because it was a necessary ex continuing of the exploration. We had had so much, I think, s collectively, we had so much satisfaction from that first improvisation. And it almost <laughs> felt like, oh, are we done? And so I think getting messy again and getting less focused was really a necessary step, certainly would have been in my process at this stage in the process to go like mm. and kind of fall down. And then the other reason that it would have looked very, or would have, ex the, your experience on the video would have been un uninteresting is there was so much affective connection mm -hmm. between mm -hmm. us. Mm -hmm. I was incredibly, I was moved, put myself into the performance this time, which I had not done the previous time of the improvisation. And so I was physically in and amongst trying to take up very little space so that nobody tripped over me, but also having a sort of sensory, physical, proximate presence with the performances. And for me, it was almost recreating the sense of closeness that I've had with Gigi and some of the mm -hmm. solo performances that I've done with the starter and with other things that I've done with him. So there was a, for me, again, it's not about us necessarily, but there, I think it was necessary to get to that stage of 
close physical mm. closeness and effective closeness and how then okay then the big question is yeah how do we translate that out to the audience how do we or how do we translate that into the audience by having them closer but I thought the, the contact touching you know we were we were talking a little bit about touching with the GG and the starter and the first thing that I did and then we actually did have touching and each of us touching each other in different ways either physically or effectively and I think that was super important to get to in some way and we um, all touched that. And we all touched that. Yeah. And did you hear the piece where we decided that that was Sandeep for the moment? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so that was sort of like, <laughs> and so then there was also your lack of presence here mm -hmm. was also kind of interesting. It was like, who's in charge? Oh, wait a minute, the young one's in charge. Okay, so, and then it kind of <laughs> did become in charge in some way. So there was, I think those were some of my reflections mm -hmm. from that. And that, um, yeah, indeed, there needs to be some next step towards more convergence, but that was a really, really powerful, interesting exploration, I thought, that was necessary. Let me say that I didn't think that was bad improvisation. Yeah. It was just much more conventional than the ones I had heard from you before. So mm -hmm. it was, you know, you could, you could listen to that and say that's an interesting improvisation, but it, it was not very distinctive, I found, knowing you now as this musician, it wasn't very distinctive to this group and to you as, as individuals. Well, so that's what I found interesting. I wonder about, again, because you were not improvisingly conducting, there was also a, a missing player. Um, and I did some stuff, but I certainly wasn't in there as mm -hmm. the, there were no, there were, Sandeep's hands were not there. Mm -hmm. And I think that, for me anyway, it was both at the moment and then the video that first improvisation that we were part of was amazing to have the hands being part of the in, of the um, improvisation. Mm -hmm. So I think there was there was something missing, mm -hmm. even if there was a new presence. Mm -hmm. I thought the light was. Is there anyone else? <laughs> um, say something about last time or going forward about next time. For me, uh, last time was something more uh, about exploration together and about a happening together. It was like a party, but uh, <laughs> in a sense, you know. And we tried many things together, or alone, and with, I forgot, Anklong. <laughs> <laughs> with Anklong. And we were gathered around this instrument because it was uh, our gathering point, I can say. And the, the idea to, to be in the black is a um, very good idea for me. Uh, I think we should keep something about that, because maybe starting or with shower light, I, I don't know, I don't have uh, any precise idea. But uh, just the fact we were uh, around the very uh, mysterious beast, you know, some an animal. It, there was something very organic in a sense, but in the other sense, it was a little messy, as you said, because we were <coughs> and we, we tried many things. <coughs> a few of of them uh, work, but um, mm -hmm. I think there's something we can catch about. This yeah. last time, yeah. of course, the first time was uh, emotionally more uh, engaging, and uh, <laughs> you know this kind of uh, uh, inspiration of everybody with everybody. But for me, I don't have a, a value judge judgment. You know, it's just mm -hmm. different to me. Mm -hmm. It's. It's tough to, to say, um, oh, this one is better, or, but I can understand for an audience that maybe we should stay less uh, uh, esoteric, maybe. <laughs> 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 no. It was something really uh, special. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>